Aloha, I'm John Asanto, a planetarium educator with the Fish Museum. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the Hawaiian star lines used for navigation. And we'll find out about Molly's fish hook as they both appear in the springtime sky. When you go outside to look for these sites, you'll want a copy of the May 2020 sky map that's available at our online learning center. You can find it on our planetarium website as well. This map is good for the month of May, and it shows the sky at about 10 p.m. early in the month, 9 p.m. halfway through, and about 8 p.m. late in the month. When you look at the map, pay attention to the middle. That's where you're going to find what the Polynesian Voyaging Society refers to as Kaivi Kumo, or the lizard's backbone. This is a north-to-south star line used by navigators. It runs from Hokupa'a in the north to Hanaya Kamalama in the south. Hokupa'a is also known as Polaris, or the North Star. It's called that because it lies almost directly above Earth's North Pole. It stays in about that same spot all night, pointing north. The Hawaiian name describes this. Hoku means star, and pa'a means stuck or stationary. It's easy to find Hokupa'a when you can see the Big Dipper, or Nahiku, which means the seventh. There are three stars in its handle and four in its cup. Those two stars at the end of the cup, well, they point you to Hokupa'a. Now, if we draw a line from the handle of the Big Dipper, it forms an arc, arcing us to Arcturus, the bright orange-colored star Hawaiians know as Hokulea, the star of joy or gladness. It's called that because when it rises to the very top of the night sky, it's directly above Hawaii. This makes it our zenith star. At different latitudes on the Earth, different stars pass directly overhead, becoming zenith stars. And that's why they named the twin hole voyaging canoe Hokulea after that star. Continuing the arc from Arcturus will lead you to Spica. It's a companion star to Hokulea called Hikiana Lea which is also the name of the companion vessel to Hokulea. Next to Spica, you'll find Me'e, or Corvus the Crow. Its stars make it look more like an upside-down water bucket, which is useful, since emptying water from the bucket down to the ocean below leads to Hanaya Kamalama, or the Southern Cross. Southern Cross has five stars in it, the four stars that draw the cross, and an off-centered middle star. When the cross stands upright, it points due south, completing the north-to-south star line. This is one of four star lines Hawaiian navigators use when sailing the ocean waters. As we head later into the evening, a large J-shape rises. This is the summertime figure, Scorpius the Scorpion. Here in Hawaii, it's known better as Maui's fish hook. As a demigod, Maui was good at many things, but fishing wasn't one of them. So one day, he decides to go out with his brothers to prove himself. Once they're at sea, Maui throws his line into the ocean, the magic fish hook. He tells his brothers to start paddling, but whatever they do, they can't look back to see what he's caught. So the brothers agree and start paddling. Suddenly, there's a big tug on Maui's line, and the brothers begin to struggle. But Maui tells them to keep going, and they paddle for days. But curiosity gets the best of them, and they decide to have a look. What they see is that Maui's hooked the bottom of the ocean, and now it's rising up. Because they've looked back, though, the spell of that magic fish hook is broken, and the land sinks back down into the water leaving the Hawaiian island chain. In frustration, Maui throws the fish hook up into the sky where it's still visible to this day. That glow you see next to the fish hook, well, that's the summertime arm of our Milky Way galaxy, home to billions and billions of stars. That glow is also known as the celestial fish, and when you can see it in a dark sky, Far away from the city lights, it looks a lot like there's a fish caught on Maui's fish hook. Again, if you're going to head out to search for these lines 
and Maui's fish hook from your backyard. Be sure and download and print out our star maps to guide your way. If you'd like to learn more about Hawaiian history, culture, science, and astronomy, well, please check out our online learning center at bishopmuseum.org slash online learning center. There, you'll find many more subjects and activities to pique your interest. So, I hope you've enjoyed another of our planetarium videos. Thanks again for watching, and stay safe, everyone.